Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. You know, I so, so, so do appreciate it. Today we are doing a little challenge video. I'm going to go ahead and do an affordable makeup side of my face and a more expensive makeup side of my face. So basically, I've been wanting to do this video for a really, really, really long time. I'm a big believer that you can get the same results with completely different products from lower end to higher end and you don't need to spend all this money on choosing between them. Choose what you want, what you feel comfortable with and what's in your budget because I promise you, you can do a lot of the same stuff with both. I just wanted basically to prove it to you guys by doing this challenge of the affordable makeup side of my face versus the more expensive side of my face. I'll also actually do check-ins and I'll put them at the very end of the video. Without further ado, let's get right into so for it. my affordable side, I'm gonna do my left side of my face and for my expensive side, I'm gonna do the right side of my face. So to prep the eyelids, I'm actually just gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear for both sides. I didn't have a concealer at the moment that was drugstore anyway, or a primer, so we just wanna keep things as even as possible. So we're gonna prep the eyelids the same. This way. side, I'm gonna use this precise blending sponge that I got at TJ Maxx for $3.99. And then on this side, I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. So far, so good. They look exactly the same. So for my affordable side, I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics uh, palette in Desert Oasis. So this is an awesome palette. I've always said it feels very high end, so it's one of my faves. I'm gonna start with Canyon. That's this shade right here. This thing truly does blend so nicely. I'm not talking about the brush, I'm talking about the shadow. It's like amazing. For my expensive side, I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Yep, okay, so I'm gonna go up here into Burnt Orange. Now the Anastasia ones have so much kickback. Do you guys see how crazy dirty that got? Honestly, because they blend so well, from what I recall, I haven't used this in a quick minute. Um, it's worth it. Again, just gonna do the same thing to this side. I'm going to have to layer that up, clearly. Okay, and as I suspected, the tones aren't exact. I knew that from swatching, but I also knew they were close enough where I could probably get away with it, and I really hope so, or else I'm gonna look like a crazy person all day. So let's just hope for the best, guys. Go ahead and go over that with this color here. So this color is Warm Taupe. They're matching up a lot better. The one thing I'll tell you right off the bat right now, just using them side by side and blending them out, is that they are both blending out amazingly beautiful. They are not patchy, they are not streaky, they are blending out so easily and so well. So really the only thing right now I'm really messing with is the colors to try to get them to match, but the way that they're functioning, honestly, I can't really tell the difference between one or the other. If I didn't know one was high end and that one was not high end, I would I wouldn't know the difference. I really really wouldn't by blending, by feel and application. We're going to leave that there cuz I know as I build eventually they'll look really similar. I'm going to go into this dark brown called Nightscapes. Rub them all in there. Know that Nightscape is a lot darker and cooler than the dark brown that is in the Anastasia palette. So, color right here, Dune, just taking it back on the same brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pat it over it to try to warm it up a little bit. 
Okay, so I think that that worked. So now I'm gonna go back to my blending brush and you know how we do. So we're just gonna blend this all together. Now let's go back to the Anastasia palette and do the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and take this dark brown color right here. What's this called? Cypress Umber. I don't know if you guys can hear the crazy uh, wind outside, but it's crazy out there right now. It's just taking a lot more layers. Other thing I will immediately point out is that this side has almost no fallout and the Anastasia side has a S-ton of fallout. Fallout isn't really exclusive to high end or low end. It's just the formula of the shadows and Anastasia ones are so extremely soft that they do tend to have a lot of fallout. That is just what I have found from most of their palettes. Okay, so now it's really hard to tell in the viewfinder. Right now they look totally off, but that also has to do with lighting, guys. Um, the sun is facing this side, so it's going to look lighter than it is, but in real life, they're really, really, really similar. I guess you'll just have to trust me on that. So for my affordable side, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. So we're gonna go ahead and just slather this all over my face. The Precision Sponge, the one from TJ Maxx, I'm just gonna bounce this and blend this foundation into my face. I've never used this sponge and it literally looks like I just took the product off of my face with it. So I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about it. All right. Let's zoom you in. Definitely, definitely could use more coverage. I think that sponge really ate the product, so that didn't help. I think I like the coverage on that. This sponge, I, I really don't like it. It's kind of rough as it is, and it really, really eats the product, so that's not good. Just throwing that out there. Now, the foundation that I found that I had that was the most similar consistency-wise to the Physicians Formula is the It Cosmetics, and they both actually have CC properties in them. The Physicians Formula has 20 SPF, and the CC has 50. Their texture, their consistency is really similar. I'm hoping that shade-wise they match up okay. I'm taking my lovely beauty blender. All right, let's go in there. Oh my God, it's been a long time since I used a real beauty blender, and I'm not gonna lie, this feels amazing. Beauty blender has something really special about it. It's like softer, and you can literally like punch yourself in the face and it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, the beauty blender's pretty freaking great. Real Techniques would have done great on the left side of my oh. face. I really lucked out. I feel like the shade is very, very similar, and I feel like the look of them is very similar. I just noticed when I looked in the mirror, I have like a demarcation line right here. So I have to go in and try to fix that. I'm gonna go in with that cheap sponge from TJ Matt because I don't wanna cheat, but if I have to, I might have to beauty blender this side to get it just to look normal. I almost feel like the sponge is taking the makeup off. Yeah, I don't know. I literally just read the package to make sure I wasn't missing something and it wasn't like, a sponge that was meant to take your makeup off and it was like this new thing I hadn't even heard of. No, it's it's a beauty sponge. It's supposed to put your makeup on. So foundation is on. Let me get up a little bit closer here. So this is the Physician's Formula side with the really crappy blender. And then this is the It Cosmetics side with the beautiful actual beauty blender. Honestly, this side does look better. From a non-observant eye, they both actually look the same, but I think this side looks better. 
but I'm not convinced it's the foundation. I kind of wish I would have used the Beauty Blender on both sides to give them really a fair shot to be the same as each other. But again, the challenge is supposed to be affordable versus expensive. So I was really trying to make everything affordable and everything expensive. I don't have a concealer uh, from the drugstore right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same concealing on both sides so that way it's a fair shot to both sides of my face. Concealer is on. So now I'm gonna move right along to eyebrows. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Nudes and I'm going to use this dark color here for my eyebrows. As you can tell, I dip into those a lot. For the right, so I'm going to this Too Faced Brow Envy. This thing is a disaster, sorry about that, because it's a powder eye product, and if we're using powder on this side, we should use powder on the other side. It's only fair. And when it comes to eyebrows, I will tell you honestly, I like my, Mabel my Maybelline palette better. I just feel like the tone of it is just so perfect for dark brown eyebrows. So just throwing that out there. I, I like this thing just fine, but in comparison, I like this one better. I feel like the tone is better and it was easier and quicker to work with. That is done. So now I'm gonna go into eyeliner. So let me tell you straight up, especially for those of you that watched my 2018 rundown, you kind of already know how I feel about this. Um, but it's the only affordable eyeliner that I have in the moment, which isn't very fair. Because I think if I had the Rimmel eyeliner or L'Oreal Infallible black eyeliner, those would have been a much more fair comparison but we don't have those on hand. So we're gonna use Swerve from ColourPop. So that's their black color. And then we're gonna use Stingray. No, yes. Stingray from Stila, which is their black eyeliner. So this is going on the right and this is going on the left. This lighting is driving me nuts. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go adjust it. Okay, did that help? A little bit, maybe. Okay, cool. So I did the color pop on this side. Let me go ahead and do the Stila on the other side. Right off the bat, let me tell you that the intensity that the Stila gave the right eye compared to the color pop on the left eye is not even fair. Like this is so, so light and I had to layer this thing so much to try to get it just this dark. Again, ColourPop used to have, in my opinion, some of the best eyeliners out there. And I don't know if it's just their black one that changed because I haven't really tried their other ones again, but it's different and it and I don't like it. I don't have a drugstore mascara right now, so I'm just gonna use my Tarte on both sides. All right guys, I'm back. So all I did was add the mascara and then I did my lips really quick. Um, I did not do half and half. I just figured that was taking it too far. It doesn't really matter. Um, so, but I did use half and half products, just not. I did the Laura Mercier um, Deep Wine Lip Liner and then the ColourPop uh, Liquid Lip and Beeper. We need to do some bronzer, some blush, some highlight. Let's get it done. Oh, this smells amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula on my affordable side. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Sticking with the expensive side of my face, I'm gonna go into this Bare Minerals Blush in the one. I'm going to go into this Morphe Blush Palette. Sticking with the affordable side, I'm gonna go into my Maybelline Master Chrome. Now on the expensive side, I'm gonna go into my Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey. I am gonna add a little to the nose. The nose is way too hard to keep one half or the other. So I'm just gonna go down just a little bit with Gilded Honey. I just realized I didn't contour the other side of my nose. <laughs> 
think I'm done guys. So this is the final look. This is the affordable makeup side and this is the expensive makeup side. And honestly guys, they look like 99% the same. I think that it cosmetics gave me more coverage, but I also think that was because of the sponge, not the actual foundation, only because I've used them both pretty frequently and I know what kind of coverage they have. So I really think it's the cheap sponge that kind of messed this site. Sorry, my camera did something funky. We have a sponge that I use to apply the Physician's Formula versus my Beauty Blender and the A Cosmetics Foundation. I feel like the sponge is what made the difference, not the actual foundation. So that's something to kind of think about when you're debating what's worth buying. I really wanted to do this video for a long time, so I'm glad I finally got to it. I just am such a big believer that you you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on makeup to get the same results. I have a lot of drugstore foundations that I love. It didn't have to be the physician formula because I do realize that that one's like 12 or $13 versus like the Maybelline Fit Me is like $7 and it is fantastic. The L'Oreal True Match Original Formula, amazing. Same thing, it's like $7 and it's fantastic. So there's lots of drugstore foundations that would be wonderful and I am 100% certain that they would do the job just as well as a high-end foundation. I just kind of wanted to make a video and almost see you guys see it. So I'm not just telling you this, you can actually see Hi it. Hi guys, sorry my camera cut me off. Anyway, long story short, um, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I really, really enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed it too. I hope you learned a thing or two. So the next time you are debating whether that high-end product is worth it, um, really think about it. Do you, is it really worth paying the bigger price tag? Thank you for joining me today on this journey, on this challenge. And as always, please spread love, not hate. And until the next time, mwah, love you guys. Bye. <laughs> okay, so okay, let me do it this way. Um, so I was asking these girls if they could see any differences in the makeup. So, is okay. it like, like one side so is expensive and one is half. cheap? Yes. Okay, close? Okay. And it's the whole thing, right? Yes, like, the whole face is like completely face, different one side to the other. Okay. okay. Well, this side looks creamier. Go ahead and close your eyes. Mm -hmm. This side looks patchier. Like, this doesn't look as yeah. even and blended Okay, okay that more side. expensive on the so, right? Yeah, this one's more expensive then because this is right. patchy. Yeah. Okay. My right or your right? We this think side, this side uh -huh. more expensive, this side cheaper. Because the side, the eyeshadow looked patchy. It, uh -huh. This was creamier, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So. So which is which? This is the more affordable side. What? No way. This is the more expensive side. Yeah. Okay. So wait, what brand? Oh, oh cool. Yeah. Could you guys even tell before I told you that? Um, that it was different. That it was different though? No, I literally, exactly when I saw you, the colors don't look off at all. Like it looks exactly Unless same. you look like super closely, you can't yeah. tell a difference No, at all. when I saw you, I didn't think anything was weird or off. Like it looks the same. So there we have it. There's one opinion. Trickster. <laughs> <laughs> Two opinions. You're right. Sorry. Hi, guys. So I'm doing a quick check-in. Um, I don't have my phone on me. It is... You guys are just going to have to trust me. It's about 4 p.m. Because it doesn't really matter because you don't know what time it was when I finished my makeup because I forgot to tell you all. Um, let's see. We had to be on the Duffy boat at 11.30, so I probably finished my makeup right about... 10 a.m. So we'll call it 10 a.m. And it's about 4 p.m. So it's been six hours. Um, again, this side is the side that was more affordable. This side was the side that was more bougie. Um, and I promise you, I tried just as hard on both sides. I did everything I thought the same. But this eye is going crazy. Like, look at this. Can you guys see it? Hang on, let me zoom you in. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it's kind of patchy. It's starting to have issues. Um, and it actually has been that way. It's actually been that way for quite a few hours, even when we were getting on the Duffy boat in the first place. So um, 
This is the uh, BH Cosmetics. So that's how that's looking. And let me just maybe zoom in all at once. So shadows, shadows, just so you can get the picture. When it comes to makeup and foundation, let me, ooh, wow. That is much closer to my face than you guys probably ever want to be. But um, the highlighter is still really strong and beautiful over here. The foundation I think looks really good. I may have been rubbing my mouth a little bit so it's a little patchy here. So this is a cosmetics foundation. Let's get you real close I suppose. I'll do the same thing. So there we go. Zoom you back out to a normal thing. So when it comes to the foundation, woo! So when it comes to the foundation, I think they're looking pretty much the same. Upon fully analyzing, I feel like the foundation is sitting really well on both sides. Not one side looks better than the other. Um, it looks good. So they're both laying really well thus far. Um, blush, bronzer, the whole thing is the face just in general is looking pretty much the same on both sides. So, so far it doesn't matter whether it was more expensive or less expensive. They seem to be functioning the same. And actually I feel like the highlighter on the less expensive side, so the Maybelline highlighter versus the Gilded Honey, I feel like it's actually a little bit stronger at this point. Um, but Gilded Honey does have that beautiful thing where it kind of starts looking like you're lit from within, which I do love that about it. If you want a highlighter that's going to stay beaming a little bit stronger, the Maybelline one is actually a little bit more apparent, in my opinion, than the Gilded Honey. All right, so that is your rundown for six-hour wear time. I desperately need a nap right now. So maybe I'll talk to you guys after the nap. Woo, I am close up. So I just wanted to check in because I took the longest nap in the world and now I'm running really late and my makeup looks terrible. So ironically, the face makeup hasn't been completely destroyed. The cosmetic ones faded more. But what I was going to mention after the last check-in um, was that although the Physician's Formula Foundation was, I guess, Look, they were both looking just as good. The IT foundation, the IT Cosmetics foundation was actually looking more luminous, but still with coverage, where I feel like the Physician's Formula um, does kind of emphasize more texture to the face. So although the lasting power I think was equivalent, um, the coverage was equivalent, I feel like the IT Cosmetic one just looks better. It doesn't um, emphasize lines as much and it doesn't emphasize pores as much so just throwing that out there as an honest opinion between the two but lasting power is pretty much equivalent to each other the shadows are crazy bad right now but I sleep on my face so that's probably why um, but overall it's been eight hours since it's about to it's past 7 p.m. at this point. So it's been about eight hours that I've had the makeup on um, through a nap, <laughs> again, sleeping on my face. So not terrible. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Good night.